when you say, hey, I have high functioning autism, sometimes they just go, you're too normal. People on the autism spectrum may have sort of atypical senses of humour. Uh, I think I certainly do. I haven't met anyone on the spectrum who didn't have a sense of humour. When I'm writing out my resume or cover letter, I'm find myself frozen at the point of, do I mention my high-functioning autism or not? I lie about it to get jobs. I don't tell them unless it, come, unless it specifically comes up. They might instantly disregard me on that point alone because they think I would be some weird antisocial anti freak who would not be able to what's it, get along with the other co-workers. As you can see from watching my video so far, I am shaded. This is because I want to be a teacher. They think, oh, he's going to be aggressive. He's going to, he won't get the students. He can't teach. He's not on that list that um, autistics have. Obviously, I'm from that generation, though, where unless you were low-functioning, you weren't diagnosed. You were just put in the hard-to-work-out basket. I used to get up in the morning and, you know, I'd put on the suit and tie and I'd put on a mask. Over the years, you know, I've just found the masks don't fit quite as well as they used to and when I get home and take the mask off it takes me longer to recover. I feel really offended by the autism equals no empathy. When I, when I was 42 I thought I was going nuts and I thought I had to go into a mental institution because I just I didn't understand anybody and people didn't understand me. I'm always having to adapt to my environment around me, but I feel like nobody's willing to adapt to help me progress and grow and understand more.